Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and my mission with these videos is to try and educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you achieve your goals across your day. Oh, this you crazy mother... So what I will be doing in this segment is I will be running over Evernote News. And for those who don't know, Evernote News is a recent segment I started on my channel that covers all of the major Evernote news. Uh, everything from updates to small things like uh, what they're doing with their strategy. So in this session, I want to encompass everything that is happening so far in March. And as you can imagine, you know, um, Evernote has been quite quiet for a while. Um, not be doing a hideous amount with their product, but something that will, I think, be addressed in the next few weeks. So let's cut to the first update. So Evernote have actually, uh, early March, uh, they localized all of their payments in India. And this was quite an interesting move because um, India was actually turning out to be one of their strongest markets. Um, and they've actually made the whole payment process really easy. Um, and as you can imagine, last month, a lot of changes to the kind of Evernote experience cutting down on a lot. Um, and now they seem to be focusing on kind of, uh, you know, streamlining everything, cutting off the bad stuff and refining the kind of the better things that are making them the, the best outcomes. And then literally three days ago, um, I think it was three days ago, 14th of March, yep, um, Evernote was kind of struck by something quite upsetting. So OneNote have actually implemented now an importer tool into their software. And for those who don't know, OneNote is essentially an Evernote competitor that delivers a similar experience to Evernote, pretty much um, more practical for the kind of business users of, of, of Microsoft services and also, you know, students. And it, actually, there are a lot of people who use OneNote uh, and it's very much the strongest competitor to Evernote. And they actually announced that they are including that importer in their system. And this is quite important because obviously, you know, now is the time to start um, panicking for Evernote because, you know, they really need to get this product update out. Uh, whatever it is, whether it's a full entire redesign or the next generation of Evernote, they really need to start making a move because I know a lot of people, especially on social, that were talking, oh, great. Now OneNote has this importer, I can bring everything over from Evernote, um, which is really depressing because, you know, a lot of people can move over. And, and I'm totally for um, being able to organize, you know, uh, you kind of feel comfortable with the application. That's what I always talk about in my videos. Um, so OneNote have that feature now. They've put up fantastic resources on it. Um, so now they've got this video which kind of summarizes that whole experience um, of how to move over. It's not playing properly, but they've actually made those resources available. So over on their Twitter, I noticed they also post this, this like really um, clever like GIF um, tweet. And basically, uh, if it's playing properly, uh, for you guys, uh, I think it auto plays, hopefully. But basically, it just shows you um, moving all of your notes over to OneNote and showing the simplicity, um, kind of actually giving a jab at Evernote too. Um, and a lot of people, uh, and I've read all of the comments, were very happy at this. Um, so that's really positive. Um, and, you know, of course, for OneNote, that's great. And then it must have been, you know, a couple of days before, Evernote put this tweet out from their CEO. And, and just their CEO currently is Chris O'Neill. And I've mentioned him in a few episodes before, trying to get, actually get a call with him to uh, for the channel because I think it'd be valuable to see what his visions are for Evernote. But he put this tweet up and the tweet quotes as, it's called Evernote for a reason. We're here for the long term. Stay tuned. Hashtag forever Evernote. Now, Evernote's main account retweeted this, and there have been a lot of comments on it. And I've been able to read a few of them um, and actually check out what other people are saying about this. So some people, I mean, Jason Team, for example, uh, he actually put, awesome, so better UI soon, which is a big question for a lot of people. He also said, like being able to select a whole column, row properly with copy and paste. And you know, Chris actually replied to a lot of these. Um, 
And he said, you know, we're on working on improvements to overall editing experience. Um, and then there are a couple of other, um, other little tweets. Um, here we go. Glad you noticed we're committed to doing fewer be- things better and contributing to the success of Evernote users. Um, there are a lot of other hints in this, so I'm going to include the link in the description to the tweet so you guys can kind of plow through it and see what you think of Chris's announcement. So as you can imagine, this is the recent updates for Evernote. Uh, as I keep mentioning, I know Evernote's going to be releasing something. Um, I've kind of falsely said it was in February. Um, I falsely said it was in November last year, but they, they've got to release it soon. If they don't do it before June, I'm going to be slightly worried. Um, they are tweaking a lot of stuff. And if you've noticed as well on their Twitter, they've really been pushing content. So it's really exciting, actually. Uh, good, exciting time for Evernote. Um, awesome work they're doing, but they just need to release this product. I think it's a full redesign of the UI, editing experience as well, and a really reduction of features that people don't necessarily use anymore. But let's see, and uh, I will be pushing for updates on Evernote, trying to get a call with Chris O'Neill as well. So stay tuned and keep following Evernote News. Thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.